previously on Dream Team. Unbelievable. Ryan Naismith and Gavin Moody coming to blows. Only one result. Red card for both. Can I ask you what it feels like to own a football club? It feels fantastic. Yay! What's going on? I don't know. An employee of this club just stole two and a half million quid from its fans. The police spoke to me today. They think it was you? I need you to get me a car to East Midlands Airport now, please. Of course, Mrs. Clark. I think you should come with us. You want Gavin to take the blame for the sendings off? You'll know he did the right thing. I'm begging you, mate. Sorry, I was uh, asleep. Gonna invite me in? Actually, I'm just I'm just gonna jump in the shower. Sounds good. No, um, look, I'm not feeling very well. Why don't you go grab some breakfast? I'll be along in a minute. Okay. Is everything okay? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> What do we do? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your patience whilst the committee reached their decision. We have reviewed the match video. The FA deplores violence on the field of play. We uphold the red cards given to both players, but we find a difference in their conduct. Ryan Naismith is an experienced international player from whom the highest standards are to be expected. The video evidence clearly shows him throwing the first punch and following it up with a sustained assault on his teammate. Gavin Moody appears to have acted in self-defense. Gavin Moody will be banned for the mandatory one match Ryan Naismith will be banned from all competitions for an additional four games. Thank you. Ah, oh, what did you do? What did you do? Back off. Huh? Just a twit, you were nothing. All you had to do was say it was you. Back off, Casper. Back off. I don't know what he said. I told him the truth. He was winding me up for a game, and then he went for me. Don't give me an excuse. I suggest you listen to him. He doesn't get on with clowns. Who were you? I want to see both of you in my office at once. Your office? It used to be Linda Block's. Excuse me, but how do we know you are who you say you are? I mean, around here you could be the cleaner. I'm a representative of Dragon's Corps. Feel free to conduct any checks you like. Five games. I, mean, I want an appeal. You go out there and you tell them we're appealing. The judgment is fair. Fair? I won't play again this season, and if I don't play, I don't go to the World Cup. My only concern is the position of this club. Appealing a ban in the present climate would only provoke the FA to extend it. Oh, listen, you jumped up little pen pusher. This is my life we're talking in about. any other business, you would have been sacked on the spot. Consider yourself lucky. You will both attend the Aston Villa game on Saturday. You will sit next to one another. 
You will smile for the cameras. You will turn the tide of negative PR this club is facing. That is all. Door. Ryan, we can appeal against the decision, mate. We can make Moody change his mind. Bucky, listen to me. But don't ever call me that again. Let him go. Just let him go. This place is chaos. Hey. Let's go home. You sure? You can tell me what's on your mind, you know. You might find it helps. <sighs> you know, one of the only reasons I came to this club was because of Ryan Naismith. You know, I knew, I just, somewhere in my head, I knew, just like I did with Gene when we were kids, that we would be able to play together. You mean your game needs him? I know I'm not the finished article. I'm not Rooney, I'm not like Owen. I need the right players around me, I need to work in the right setup. I thought that with Lucky like supplying me, I'd be in with a shout of going to the World Cup. Hey. Maybe he still will. The whole world hates Harchester right now. I had such high hopes for this season. Visit Linda. See you later. Why don't you come? I'm too busy. She could really. It's got nothing to do with you. Fine. I'll send her your regards then. She killed a man. And had everyone think it was someone else. For six months. Doesn't mean she's guilty now. Alex, you should have seen her when we found out about Lenny. She threw up in the street. She wasn't faking it. What about all this stuff the police are saying about her trying to defraud the club a couple of months ago? They checked her bank accounts. The club paid her one million pounds for no reason. I mean, the money was paid back. Obviously, she realised she couldn't get away with something as blatant as that. So she came up with this instead. She found a guy that she knew had been sacked. A guy that had a bit of a crush on her. Well, that's their version of it anyway. And you believe it? Do you? Honestly, I don't know. But I'm still going to see her. It's still Linda. She's in prison and she needs support. I can't.
Hi, it's Kevin. Can I see him? You've got a visitor. You'd be running out of clean underwear by now. Thanks. Oh, uh, congratulations. You got off. I mean, one game isn't that bad, really. Is it? It is to the lads. They'll get over it. We should leave you to it. No. It's okay. What are you doing here? Just thinking. Please go. I've done some terrible things in my life. I sleep with a man's wife. Blame another man for doing it. And kill a man. And just... get away with it. What do you want? And then you have some little fling. I mean, a couple of minutes, nothing. And your whole world falls apart because of it. Please. Who would have thought that you would have been my destiny? Hey, Sin. I mean, it's ridiculous that you would have been the one to bring me down. So I thought I'd come and ask you. What do you think I should do? Alex, it's Chloe. Look, you need to get to studs. <sighs> Ryan's pulled some stunt on Cindy and scared the hell out of her. And Gavin's on his way around there now, and I'm scared he's going to do something stupid. <sighs> I better make up one of the bedrooms for you. No. I can't let you go back to that house tonight. Just call me a cab. I'll go to my mum's. What are you gonna do with her? Hey. Hold my hand, but you're packing something you're inside. Hey, 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 She's talking rubbish, whatever she said. You can't say it. Hey, go! Back off! Kelsey! Go! The pair of you now! Back off! He breaks into my house, threatens my missus, and you're telling me to back off? She thought he was gonna attack her! I'm going to police. Hey! You don't call the police on your teammates. Ever. What were you thinking going in there? They finished me. Him and that slag. What? They, they go! Idiots! Oh, what are you gonna do, huh? Find me? Be my guest! I'm finished anyway! Liam. Gavin. Leave. 
See you at training, big man. I won't see you on the pitch. <laughs> Losers. You self-pitying, self-indulgent, vain, useless, spoiled, self-absorbed waste of space. You brought this on yourself, every bit of it. You go near that lad or that girl again and I swear to God I will take you apart myself. Now get a grip. Enough to give her name and address and issue a plea of not guilty to charges of conspiracy to defraud. Her bail has been set at half a million pounds. But with no one coming forward to pay it so far, she is remanded in custody to the Harsh Women's Prison. How was she last night? She was bad. I swear she's lost a stone. The worst thing, it's, it's like all the fight's gone out of her. Oh, don't. Alex, she needs you. Why me? Come on. I'm not blind. She walked out on me. She was going to flee the country with some middle-aged postboy. That's not her version. Can't you see? I'm hurting both of you by staying away. Good morning. Good morning. Mr Duval. Will the Dragon's Court be paying for Mrs Block's bail? The sum is excessive. We cannot meet it. I try to understand that the man's been under a lot of pressure, yeah? He's probably just lost his England place. I sat and gave him the right to break into her house and scare the crap out of her. So what, he was just sat there staring at her? Jesus. Get on move on, Naismith, will ya? Yeah. He needs to be taught a lesson. Simple as that. Oh, Moody, I'm telling you, it's a good job that I'm suspended and not you. Right, <laughs> right, shut up. <laughs> okay, lads. I'm cancelling the Grange tonight. You can all stay at home. I want you back at the club by midday. Three hours before kickoff. Please do not abuse his privilege. No problem. Good. You broke into her house. You stayed there while she slept. Oh. Hey, what have you done it to me? Les? Not this time, mate. You've been bailed out once too often. We'll get on with it. Get it, I'll kill you. He's all yours. You 
came. So, um, what are they saying? Who? Lawyers, police. Let's not talk about them. Because they came to me about some money in your account. Making out it wasn't the first time you tried. I didn't believe. I missed you. I'm lying awake at night and imagining you with me. No news about Lenny Clark yet. I mean, if they found him, he could back you up. <laughs> what if I need backup for the police? Mum, it's okay. We just, we'll be right here. What happened? Oh my God, Gavi, you all right? I couldn't have him doing that, Sin. You know, whatever's happened. You shouldn't have done that. I know. <laughs> What's happened, eh? It's all gone wrong. It's all wrong. right in the eye. I've known Sully and Tyson for years and they just stood there. My best friends. Just imagine how difficult for them this is. They've watched their friend beaten and they let it go. It's difficult for them. Look, I cannot imagine, but you hurt them so much, they cannot stop it. Get lost. No, just, just be them, in your head. If you think like them, maybe you understand. First you sleep with her. Then you tell him. Then you fight him, on pitch, because he's upset. And then these. <laughs> I, I cannot understand these. <laughs> you break in his house and frighten his woman. <laughs> what else could he do? So what's going on? Get on the couch. Before kick-off, Gavin, Moody and yourself will pose for photographers. You will smile. You will shake hands. Have you seen this? Yes. Miss King will cover your bruises. What? I... I was attacked. It's five to three. So that's it. 
you're just gonna cover it all up. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Ryan. I mean, all last night, I just... You know, I couldn't think of anything. But how much they must all hate me. I mean, I couldn't hit Sully unless it was really bad. And then I start thinking about how much I hate myself. <laughs> but it's hard, you know? When you know that you're know, hating yourself, it isn't enough. And so I just gotta take it. Because I can't do anything, you know? I, I can't change. You can't just... You can't change. Just... Just do it. It is an extraordinary scene at the Dragon's Lair just a few minutes before kickoff. The stadium half empty. I've never seen this before. The Harchester Supporters Association arranged a boycott of the match and the vast majority of the club fans have indeed heeded the call to stay away. One of the main reasons for their disillusionment, the disgraceful fight between Ryan Naismith and Gavin Moody, at least... It seems now that that pair have patched up their differences. But their absence means a debut for two youngsters today against Aston Villa. A chance for Andy Williams and Paul Taylor to impress. It's an almost eerie atmosphere at the Dragon's Lair as Harchester take to the field. Alex Dempsey's side shows confirmation of the debuts for Williams and for Taylor. But once again, the manager goes with an attacking lineup. There is a distinctly unfriendly atmosphere here today. Most of the fans' wrath being aimed in the direction of Ryan Naismith. But Harchester out on the field have got a job to do here today without Naismith and without Gavin Moody. Harchester then get us underway, still needing a couple of wins to be absolutely safe from relegation. Aston Villa too have endured a difficult league season up to now and like Alex Dempsey David O'Leary knows the importance of three points but Villa with the early ascendancy here's Berger oh good effort O'Meara was beaten and just back from a lengthy injury absence Patrick Berger was very close what are they singing? it's about Ryan what about it? I don't want to know you want me? Have you got something to say? Leave it, Ryan. Hey! What are you doing? You told to stay here. What do I say if someone asks? I'm going to see Clyde. What is he on about? Aston Villa have got a real measure of control in midfield, and here they come forward again. Ball will seek out Berger, look at the space he's got, shot block, and it's Luke Moore, oh, and he scored! Terrible defending by Harchester. Oh my God. What's the matter? I've just realised where Ryan's gone. Well, where? Clive. Clive Connolly. Harchester still struggling for rhythm. Casper Rose has been the pick of a bad bunch so far. And here he is again. Can he pick a way through that Villa defence? But he's put the effort in. And that's reflected on the face of Ashley King on the Harchester bench. Gantry, which way? Where's the door to Gantry? Down there on the right.
Ryan? Come back in. Come on, mate, please. I can't make it. Wait now, go and get out. Please, don't do anything. Harchester haven't improved at all in the second half, still struggling to make an impact. And how they could do with the presence of Ryan Naismith out there, somebody to pull the strings. Kevin Moody is looking very agitated, made his way to the Harchester bench, having a word with Ashley King. And for some unknown reason, they're heading up the tunnel. Happy birthday, mate. Called your mum earlier. She's a bit upset, though. wants to start some annual charity match in your memory. I told him not to bother. There's none to turn up. When you died, I half expected some kind of visit from you. Yeah, I'll come start moving my furniture around or something. Could have freaked me right out. How bad did I have to get, Clyde? Chester, a goal down at home to Aston Villa. Now Eugene Rose. Can he set up Casper Rose? Was a chance here? It's Casper Rose. Great save by Sorensen. But that was an awful lot better from Harchester. I guess, I guess you have more bottle than I gave you credit for. Don't come any closer. Okay, easy. I said stop, all right? If you come any closer, I'll jump. Look, whatever you're thinking, this isn't the way. Please, look. do you want to talk? There's nothing to say. Uh, okay. Okay, look. I'm going to stay here. When you feel like talking, you let me know, okay? No pressure. Casper Rose with the ball in. One last chance, maybe. Poor defending by Aston Villa. Here's Eugene Rose! And it looks like he's pinched a very late point here for Harchester. And a chance for a rare celebration. Ryan, please come down. This is crazy. I've done some terrible things in my life. Of course you're not perfect. Everyone's done things they regret. I know I have. You don't know what I've done. The World Cup was all I had. I 
I'll never be able to get on with my life unless I pay. For God's sake, think about your dad. How's he gonna feel when the news comes through his son has killed himself? Shut up! And there was nothing he could do to help. Come on, think about it. Mike Dean with whistle to mouth and it's all over at the Dragon's Lair in front of this small crowd and without Ryan Naismith and Gavin Moody it finishes 1-1. Gav, do you know where she is? I haven't seen her. I heard she was with you. No, not with me. It must have been someone else. Right. How's life upstairs with Duve? Oh, don't. About quarter to three I got up to leave the office. Going somewhere. Wouldn't even let me watch the game. He's such a miserable little. Duval. Two points dropped. A point gained, as I see it. If you say so. We still have much to discuss. My office in ten minutes. Yeah, can you just hold that for me, please? Sorry, I can't. I've got a meeting with the chief executive. God. Thanks. God, you're shaking. Look, you won't say anything to the lads, will you? Trust me. Look, the area should be clear by now. No, I can't go home. They'll all be going to studs. You can't just go to reception and get my car keys. I really can't face seeing anyone. You are not driving anyway. You're gonna come back to the hotel with me so I can keep an eye on you. And we can talk. What do you want, Alex? Why did you not get all the information you needed last time? I believe you. <laughs> I'm sorry about before. I should have supported you whatever happened. It's just... I couldn't have handled it if this wasn't real. You and me. I never really doubted you, it's just... I was scared. I believe 100% that you are innocent, and I will not stop until your name has been cleared. I love you. It's going to be okay, I promise. What's more humiliating? You find me trying to kill myself for this? I'm glad I did. You could have landed on my car. <laughs> you know what? You're always gonna win. I took one look at that drop and... I can't believe Clyde went through with it. I suspect he was in a far worse place than you were. Stuck now, though. You know, I'm in limbo. Can't top myself and... Well, I can't go on like this. I'll get over it, you know. The lads, this Cindy business. Eugene will probably rub an old lady tomorrow and I'll all be forgotten. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. There. It's still pretty.
Maybe we should talk about what you were doing up there in the first place. You know what, Ash? I'm all talked out. Okay. You know I don't drink. What? Why not? Don't you like it? No, I do. It's just that... Look. Today was a day I'd really like to forget. Please, just... You know, just get drunk with me. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. <clears throat> yeah, you got drinks, Lisa. Rose. Evening. Uh, is Ashley King back, do you know? Her key's gone, so she must be. She came back with Mr Naismith about an hour ago. She did. Shall I let her know you're here? No, thank you. Room 333 if you want to go up. Someone's having a party. Mint. There you are. Yeah, all right, all right. Did you remember the mint? Thank you. Oh, here we go. When you own a bar, you will be amazed what you learn about drinks. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. <laughs> Long Island iced tea. <laughs> Come on, cut shot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you any good? Here we have the original Mai Tai. Uh, asleep. Can you invite me in? Actually, I'm just I'm just gonna jump in the shower. Sounds good. No, um, look, I'm not feeling very well. Why don't you go grab some breakfast? That'll be long in a minute. Okay. Is everything okay? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> What do we do? Coming up on Dream Team. She's bound all the other women up. They all bought shares and she told me she'd kill me. I wonder if you could help me. Um, I'd like to borrow half a million pounds. Sleeping with Ryan Naismith is a funny way to earn trust. What do you mean by that? You might want to make sure your cut run continues. If that's the case, come and see a man like me. No, no, no. The guy I've got nothing to do with this. Man's got to learn his lesson. When winning is everything, just how far will you go? For the right sum, I could guarantee Hart is the victory. Brand new Dream Team next Sunday at 7 and previously on 24. 
Well, what are you accusing me now of, Jack? Being in bed with terrorists? The brand new drama continues next on Sky One.